Ugh, hard to get out of this thing. I actually just bought this Lamborghini and uh, you know people ask me why I bought it and it's definitely not to show off. It's not just because I like fast cars. The real reason I bought this Lamborghini and the reason I've had a Ferrari before and a Maserati is because I wanted to remind myself of a dream. A dream of financial freedom because it wasn't too long ago that I was sleeping on a couch. Now, I'm gonna tell you the secret so that you can buy a Lamborghini too. You wanna know what it is? Drop out of college. No, I'm actually kidding. Don't, don't take me seriously. I'm gonna get a lot of flack for saying that. But listen, look at the list. World's most successful people. People way more successful than me. Bill Gates, Mark Zuckerberg, Richard Branson. Richard Branson didn't even drop out of college because he dropped out of high school. What does he know that you and I didn't learn when we were growing up? All of us have been taught from our childhood. Wait, wait for the lottery ticket of life. Wait for that thing outside of our control. No, no, that's the thing. Oh, go to college, that's the thing. Oh, oh you have to be born in the right family, that's the thing. Oh, no, wait, wait, wait. You have to uh, have a high IQ. No, it's the government. When the government recession gets better. Oh man, we've been lied to. You know why? I'm gonna give you a breakthrough. I'm gonna tell you what five or 10 things that I learned from my millionaire mentor. See, I can't even take the credit for my success. I wish I could, it'd be a cooler story, but not too long ago, I was sleeping on a couch. Remember I said this is a reminder? You know, I keep another reminder on my phone. It's a picture of a couch. A couch that I was sleeping on in the middle of nowhere, Clayton, North Carolina, in a mobile home. I had no money, no college degree. But you see now, it's not the same. By the way, some people ask me, did I rent this car? No, I didn't rent this car for the shoot. People are so pessimistic and so fear-based. They're like, oh, no, this is mine, okay? So that reminder, Richard Branson dropping out of college, family's IQ, what's going on? This game, no, this is, the secret. This is the real secret. It's not the power of positive thinking. So the next few minutes in this video, I'm going to give you five to 10 things that you can take away today. And if you do them, they will change your life. Remember what the Dalai Lama said though, three kinds of knowledge, hearing, comprehending, and making instinctive change. I hope, and I'm going to show you how you can be in the third category. We don't need more book smart people who just have it all up in their head. You want the real stuff. You want to pay off the bills. You want to have the wealth in your bank account. You want to be healthy and happy. You want to find love. We know this, Sigmund Freud said, and the reason this game is so important. He said in his famous work, Civilization is Discontents, he said, I can't tell you what the purpose of life is, but I can tell you about the behavior of humans. We move away from pain and discomfort, and we move towards intense pleasure. The reason that Richard Branson was able to drop out of college and have everything he's wanted in life is because he knew how to imagine. You know, before he started Virgin Airlines, he was just a pretty poor kid on an island down in the Bahamas. And he had a dream, and he had an imagination. What if? See, it all starts with what if. That's the first breakthrough for you. I was kind of joking when I said drop out of college, but maybe people who drop out of college are a little better at dreaming. Maybe they're not robotic. You know, look at the timeline of how wealth was created. Who had the wealth? And remember, I'm not just talking about material things. A thousand years ago, they didn't have dollars or pounds or euros, right? They had something else. I call it now freedom units. Forget the word money. Too many bad connotations. What if you had more freedom units? What if you controlled your life? Throughout history, who had the most of these units? Well, a long time ago, it was chiefs of tribes. Then you had warriors like Alexander the Great and Genghis Khan. Then you have explorers like Balboa and Pizarro. And then you had kings and monarchs. And then you had families and bankers like the Rothschilds. And then you had the robber barons, Carnegie, Rockefeller, finally, in our century or in the last century, you had Henry Ford, an industrialist. And lastly, and most importantly, 
there was the rise of the corporation in the 1950s. That's where the nine to five job came from. That's what salary slaves came from. That's the generation your parents grew up, my parents grew up, and we grew up in that mentality. And that's the mentality that says, oh, it's a college degree. No, the college degree prepares you to make other people wealthy. Now, I'm not saying education isn't important. In fact, I believe in lifelong education. Maybe you heard my TEDx talk where I talk about why I read a book a day. I'm educated. You're educated. A box, a schoolroom, a classroom isn't necessarily the only way you can be educated. It's a tool. It can be used. It should be used, but it's not exclusive. In the rise of the corporation, that world needed college degrees. But you know what we live in now? The best of all times. The world is now ready and ripe. And I don't believe this will last forever, but it is the time right now. We live in the time of the self-made. Nobel Prize winning researchers like Daniel Kahneman from Princeton have proven that money, if used properly, and make no mistake, people do abuse this, but if you use it right, it can buy you more happiness. I'm going to explain a little bit more on that later. But remember, if you want this freedom, it will begin in your mind. New exciting ways of thinking and living, innovation. Remember, the rest of the world is stuck, trapped. I was trapped once. I needed a new way to think. So let me share with you some of those breakthrough ideas, about 10 of them, that changed my life and will change your life too. And I promise, these are things you haven't heard before. Ideas you weren't taught by parents or at school or university or magazine or news. I have time to share you know, a handful of these now, and if you still want more, I'm going to give you a way to find out the rest later. Oh, and by the way, I want to thank you for listening in. I know you have a lot of other things you could be doing with your time now instead of watching me stand here in my garage with my little you know, whiteboard. Uh, so anyway, as a token of my appreciation, if you stay to the end, I have a little gift for you, a present. You'll see what it is. It's worth about, about 100 bucks, and it's free just for listening, no gimmicks or anything. Now, I don't know where you found me. Maybe you heard my TEDx talk on why I read a book a day. I think I have the second biggest book review club in the world now after Oprah Winfrey. Some of you saw me on TV. Or maybe you're part of the one and a half million people who follow me in 40 countries on my newsletter, my YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. Or maybe you came to one of my talks uh, on my speaking tour at the top universities and business schools around the world. Now, again, I don't want to come off as bragging because I can't really take credit for most of my success. 90% of it comes from five mentors I had, five millionaire mentors, some very wealthy business partners, thousands of books that I read, and from personally being taught by some of the wealthiest, most successful people in the world. So again, I can't claim this uh, as something that I came up with. I wish I was that smart, but I'm not. And again, anything I've done doesn't matter. It doesn't matter for you. I'm only telling you this. I'm only mentioning this. Uh, so that you know it's not just book knowledge. This is something I've experienced firsthand and I want you to know you're not alone. And that this message that I'm sharing with you right now and I'm about to share is interesting enough to keep you know, a million people or more at least paying attention. So I decided I'm gonna record and share my story and share these 10 breakthrough tips with you today. You know, what I did from, to go from being completely broke, worse because I was actually in debt, to being here, you know, this is an eight bedroom house in the Hollywood Hills with all these cool toys and all that stuff. And some of you, you know, you don't even care about materialistic things. Just remember, Mother Teresa, who won a Nobel Prize, she never kept any money for herself, but she did raise millions of dollars for the poor. So no, this isn't just about money, even though I do not apologize uh, for talking about money because money is important. Really, this is about the four pillars of the good life. Health, wealth, love, and happiness. How to get your cake and eat it too. One first you know, kind of thought that I want to just start with before I get into these 10 breakthroughs. I want to be clear, this is not a get rich quick scheme. If that's what you're looking for, you know, it reminds me of that saying, if you're playing poker and after 30 minutes you don't know who the sucker is, you're the sucker. So I'm not going to overpromise anything. I'm not going to make you into a sucker. That's not what I'm here for today. If you hear this emotion and passion in how I talk, it's not because it's the scam or some kind of persuasion I'm trying to do on. It's a true story. It's my own personal story. No one can argue with that. So, the first of these 10 breakthroughs is that you have to understand science if you want to change your bank account. 
You can't just cross your fingers and hope for magic in the lottery ticket approach. Scientists say that your brain works with 25 cognitive biases. These are triggers in your mind. It's called heuristics. Those are the decision-making trees that you use to make sense out of life. And out of 25, the strongest is what they call the reward bias. It's what the famous psychologist Sigmund Freud calls our urge to eliminate pain and discomfort and experience intense pleasure. By the way, this is why the modern education system you and I grew up in doesn't work very well. It doesn't lead with reward. It leads with pain, tests. Here's an exam forcing you to study things that you don't care about. Nobody wants that. You have to know yourself if you want to make money. The great business school teacher Peter Drucker, he said that you can only build on strength, but most people don't know their strengths. If you don't know yourself, you will never push past the procrastination that holds millions of people back. As the philosopher Nietzsche said, the mind is like an inaccessible fortress. It's hard to really know ourselves. So, I'm going to show you how to break through here. It's a little reward mental game that I practice on myself. At first it's going to sound a little cheesy, but if you actually implement this, you'll see how it will pull you along. You must be pulled. You can't always push your way to success. So let's imagine for a second, you woke up this morning, you check your bank balance, and somehow, some, some way, you see one million dollars was wired into your checking account. What things would you immediately change in your life? You probably don't even have to think very long on that. I remember daydreaming. I'm sure you've daydreamed about that before when you were little or maybe when you're older. But I'm going to show you how to use this daydreaming and harness it, okay? We all instinctively know that when you have a lot of money, a lot of these freedom units, everything changes. You know, there's that interview. Um, it's uh, the billionaire Warren Buffett, and he's asked how his life has changed over the years. And Buffett says, well, I've been rich, and I've been poor, and rich is a lot better. Your life when you were broke compared to when you have money is so different, so transformed, that it's basically impossible to understand until it's actually happened to you. That's why people fail. That's this breakthrough I'm talking about. They don't know how to trigger their reward biases well enough to keep the dream alive. You have to fan the flames. So let's try it right now. Just picture your life right now compared to someone super wealthy. I don't know, you, Bill Gates, Warren Buffett, Oprah Winfrey, whoever is your you know, favorite billionaire, Jay-Z. Uh, so you're that person for a second. You go down, you check your mail, but there's no bills to pay. Mortgage, visa, phone, everything's paid off. You wake up in a big house, five, ten bedrooms in the best part of town. You pull out of your garage in a Lexus Porsche or maybe a Lamborghini like this. You get out of bed when you want. No more alarm clock, no commute in traffic, no more boss, no one tells you what to do, no more slaving away. I call that the salary slave. We'll talk about that later in the timeline of wealth creation, how that's changed over the centuries. Not necessarily for the better. Uh, you know, you'd be shopping with no spending limit. Louis Vuitton, Chanel, Armani, you know, I'm not a big shopper, but uh, if that's your thing, imagine that. You could date or marry whoever you wanted to. It's no secret that high quality people are attracted to people who are successful. I know it's not always seem fair, but that's the way the world's been and probably will continue to be. Your kids get the best education, private school, tutors. You spend time with amazing, fascinating people. Celebrities, doctors, authors, scientists, world travelers. You're getting invited to all the right places. Getting healthy again. Remember I talk about, it's not just about wealth, but wealth does play in, for example, your ability to get a personal trainer. Get trim, get toned. Get vacation around the world, the beaches of Fiji, romance in Paris, the beauty of the Greek islands. Stay in a five-star hotel when you travel, fly first class. You're eating amazing food. I love good food, you know, five-star restaurants, breakfast in bed, all that stuff. And remember, not just material things. As you do this reward trigger uh, kind of exercise, don't just focus on conspicuous consumption. You know, you have to be careful with too much materialism. It'll work against your happiness. I lived with the Amish for two and a half years, no electricity, no cars. You can be happy that way too, but you still have to understand these principles, these 10 breakthroughs. You can change the world for the better. You can donate to your favorite charities, Red Cross, UNICEF, Humane Society. Start your own, look at Bill Gates. Or help people you know, parents, friends, those in need, family. It doesn't always have to be you know, showing off in how you uh, help people and give to charity. 
This will give you the respect of people young and old. They will look up to you rightfully for what you've accomplished. You can retire early, peace of mind, money in the bank, stocks, investments growing, kids provided for. Or as we take this mental game a little further, just imagine this. Imagine taking a year off and doing nothing, relaxing, thinking, replanning your life. You see where I'm going with this, right? This is a game you should play with yourself. It sounds like I said a little cheesy, but it isn't. Remember, the Dalai Lama says there's three levels of knowledge. You might hear this and say, oh, I already know that. You might comprehend it and say, yeah, that makes sense. But it's only when these things become instinctual. This game of imagining the future as you would like it to be. One of my mentors, Alan Nation, said, Ty, definition of an entrepreneur, the definition of a successful person is someone who remakes the world in this vision that they have for the future. Now, the vision isn't just enough. You hear that people saying you just have the power of positive thinking. We know I was just reading a good book um, called Super Survivors and it talks about this isn't the only trait you need. This is just the beginning. That's why I said this is number one. And I want you to know the reason this is number one breakthrough is not just because it's important, but also anytime you see something that's widespread, I see this from California to Finland to Singapore, wherever I travel, everybody wants this. This is innate to the human experience, not just to survive, but to thrive. You know, if you've heard my TEDx talk, you'll remember when I say everybody wants, but not everybody gets. So I want you to know right now that even though most people aren't getting this, and that's what the media talks about. You should know that thousands of men and women are part of a growing movement. They have discovered a certain set of steps. In the past, these type of things were only passed down from you know, wealthy parents to their children or in the secret boardrooms of top corporations. In fact, I originally developed what I'm sharing with you 10 years ago to train the CEOs who I hire to run the companies that I invest in. I'm an investor. So, these steps have been hidden from ordinary people until the last few years. You see it more and more. You see little inkling and little gleam, glimmers, I should say. You know, I've been teaching these steps in this video to a small group of ordinary people who are living out the dream, the one we just went through, the ones with the home, cars, wealth, independence, excitement, respect, luxury, and life-changing higher purpose. Some of them are using this to make thousands of dollars, others hundreds of thousands, even millions of dollars. People without a college degree, like I don't have one, you know, didn't inherit money. I didn't inherit money. People without super genius IQs, regular people. And this is happening in every city in the world, even the one you live in now. Now, I know this is true because I'm one of those people. And I'm friends personally with hundreds of people whose lives, futures, bank accounts have changed forever too. Let me read to you some of the things. I kind of keep this in my back pocket here. I put it. Uh, just so you can hear firsthand what people are saying. Ty, it's amazing what happened in the last 24 hours after the video. Seems like I went from $2,000 a day to $6,123 a day. I attached a screenshot, sent me a, a, like a bank statement. By the way, I want to make, uh, make you aware and very clear that I do not make up any of these. These are people, this is a guy, Matt Posius. Uh, he's actually on my side, a member, you can email him. I don't make up any of these at all. All right, I've never seen anything make me money so fast. In three days, I went from making $10 as a hostess at a Korean barbecue to making over $75 an hour. That's uh, Magali Pineda, Magali Widmer at gmail.com if you want to email her. Uh, I think she's facebook.com slash magali.pineda.9. All right, and Josie wrote, it's strange, but as soon as I started using this, I become a magnet to money and opportunities. I just received a big check and an apology in the mail uh, from someone who owed me from three years ago. I <laughs> have my first buyer in real estate who has a budget of $750,000. Warmest regards, Josie Neglia. Uh, she's at latindance.com, josieneglia at me.com. Yeah, you can contact her. Josie's a pretty well-known woman here in Hollywood and she gave me per uh, permission to post her you know, name and Facebook and all that stuff. Look, this stuff works, but honestly, there's so much fear in the world that anyone who talks about this kind of stuff like I'm doing, putting your neck out there, gets accused of selling get-rich-quick schemes and trying to trick people. I had someone email me once. They said, uh, I hate you, Ty, for what you're doing. It was crazy. You know, I, I was like, I hadn't done anything. So I, I called, picked up the phone, and I called her. I talked personally with her. 
And it turns out it wasn't me she was angry at or greedy capitalism. Uh, it was sadly she had a rare, rare terminal illness and uh, she was just taken out on anyone who was optimistic about life. We've actually become friends. But you know, I'm a busy investor. I buy and sell companies. Doing this video now is not my main thing. And people who have been watching me for a while know that you know I'll put these videos up and take them down and move on to new projects. So you know, stay, watch this now. If you leave, you might you know come back and want to watch this another day. Uh, it'll probably be long gone. I believe that your life comes in four seasons: winter, spring, summer, and fall. The spring is when you do experiments. The winter is when you plan. The spring is when you experiment. The summer is when you work, and the fall is where you reap the rewards of what you've done. And this video is one of those experiments, the spring for me. So if you're watching, you're kind of in a test group. I hope you don't mind. I spent a little money on advertising and research and development on cameras and things like that. And that's why there's probably about 2,000 people watching this video right now. Now, I can divide them up into two groups. The first group has big dreams. And the second group, the majority of people watching now, chooses a limited life. As Thoreau says, the mass of men lead lives of quiet desperation. What is called resignation is confirmed desperation. And so, I don't need to tell my story to everyone. The world doesn't need 50,000 more rich Paris Hilton, Kim Kardashian, mindless materialistic robots. They're actually, by the way, I hope they don't offend them, they're my neighbors up here in the hills. But nonetheless, we don't need more of that. What we need is more good people like you, having enough money and freedom to change your lives and the world around you, wealth and impact. You know, for me, it's a little bit like that movie 300. I want to find 300 amazing people out there in this big bad world. This presentation is like my personal radar. It's a way to set out a signal and see if I can locate just a few of you, those of you with big dreams. I hope you're one of them because once this test group is filled, I'm going to take this presentation down. So please pay attention now uh, until the end. Now, I'm talking about these breakthrough, you know, these 10. So, number two is you have to understand a simple wealth pyramid. It has five levels, okay? The worst at the bottom is what I call Donald Trump level debt. At one point, Donald Trump said he was $9.2 billion in debt. He said he walked past a homeless person and realized that he was $9.2 billion poorer than the homeless person. The average American has over 200 grand in debt. That's the lowest level. Then the pyramid goes up to scarcity. The vast majority of humans are either in debt or in scarcity. Scarcity, Daniel Kahneman, the, the uh, Nobel Prize winning economist says is under 75,000. Now above that, the next level, the third, comes financial independence. You must at least get there. Not everybody has to be a billionaire, but you must become financially independent, especially if you want the good life, health, wealth, love, and happiness. After that, after that financial independent level, comes prosperity. And then finally, if you follow the right steps and have a little luck on your side, maybe you can get to the top. That's wealth and impact. That's what Bill Gates has. He not only has his big, you know, whatever, 80 room house and private jet, but he also has the charity focused on improving education and eliminating various diseases. Same with Oprah. She has wealth and impact. Like I said, I started on the bottom, bottom of the pyramid, completely broke, sleeping on a couch. I've been through all stages in the pyramid. And you know, I grew up thinking that having a big house in the Hollywood Hills or having a Lamborghini, that this was you know, a world reserved for celebrities, rock stars, trust fund kids. And in a way, I was right. The world for centuries used to be that way. But let me show you the next breakthrough, breakthrough number three. Look at who's controlled wealth throughout history. I actually created a timeline based on the work of, the, of Will Durant. He's a Pulitzer Prize winning historian. So thousands of years ago, let's kind of progress through, you had chiefs, chiefs of tribes. They had the wealth. Then things moved through time and you had warriors, Genghis Khan, Alexander the Great. They controlled the wealth. Then later you had explorers like Balboa and Pizarro. Then you had kings, monarchs. Then you had banking families like the Rothschild. They passed on their wealth from generation to generation. Then you had the robber barons, you know, Carnegie, Rockefeller, and finally, you got to the modern world where you had the industrials, people like Henry Ford. And finally, in the 1950s, you had the rise of the corporation. That's the generation and reality that you and I and our parents grew up in. The nine to five job, the salary slave. But I wanna explain something, guess what? 
We live in a new world. Something new has arisen on this timeline. It's never been on there before. We now have the rise of the self-made person. Freedom. Not just on a piece of paper like a government declaration of independence. I'm talking real, practical, live your life freedom. Mark Zuckerberg made $28 billion before he was 30. There was that 15-year-old kid recently who sold his Sumly News app to Yahoo for $30 million. He was 15. The WhatsApp guys went from being unemployed to making, what, $22 billion in five, six years? Women like Oprah or Sarah Blakely from Spanx becoming billionaires. Name a time this has ever happened before in history. See, that's what the news leaves out. That's what the pessimists and the naysayers are leaving out. And remember, I'm not just talking about big billionaires. I use them as an example because we all know them. But there are people just like you and I rising out of the ashes of history to become prosperous. Now again, remember, it's not everybody's destiny, in my opinion, to become a billionaire. Not everybody even needs to be a millionaire. But everybody can have plenty. Now, let me be vulnerable for a second. I want to open up during this talk because remember I was talking about that old couch? When I was sleeping on that couch, it was a game changer for me. You know, nowadays everybody sees me, you know, on TV or whatever, house, car, all that stuff, multi-million dollar companies, but they forget that not too long ago, I was sleeping on that old couch. In a mobile home, North Carolina, $45 left in my bank account. I didn't have much of a future either because my only real job skills were, I had you know, been on a farm, so I knew how to milk cows, but that's not helpful in the modern world. And I remember literally laying on that couch, it was an August summer night, uh, and I felt the tears roll down my face. I didn't have money. I had no health insurance, no college degree, no car, no place to call my own. I had no girlfriend, no friends nearby. Maybe you felt this hopeless before too. You know how painful life can be when every dream you have is shot down by the harsh reality of simply not having enough money, of being locked into a job you hate. You know, I read recently, I can't remember where it was, but I read that the average person in the world only spends 12% of their life doing what they like to do. The other 88% of their life they feel is wasted. So you know, you're surrounded by people who drag you down. The first of the month is coming up and you don't have enough money to pay your bills. When the stress keeps you up all night tossing and turning. When your family, friends, and kids need your help, but you can't help them because you're barely surviving yourself. When you feel burned out and you know your body just needs a break but you can't afford even a short vacation. When everyone around you is having fun, traveling, and enjoying the good things in life and you're stuck grinding away, it's the worst feeling. I don't care, some of you are completely broke watching this and some of you uh, are maybe wealthy but you can still be trapped. Remember, we're talking about the good life. We're not just talking about money, we're talking about how to get your cake and eat it too. How to have the good life while still maintaining health, love, and happiness. You know, sleeping on that old couch in that trailer made me say, Ty, never again. I will never allow myself to be broke again, to be at that level. It forced me to ask myself, what if I could become healthy, wealthy, find love and happiness? Just an ordinary person from an ordinary family. And that's the question I want to ask you. What if I had something? What if there's something to these 10 breakthroughs that can make you successful and happy? Now, not something I have, but what if I could pass on to you something that was passed on to me? And not because I was trying to sell you something, but because I had done it myself. I've lived out that American dream, the rags to riches story before you know, I was even 30. And more importantly, I've shown hundreds of thousands of other people how to do it too. Now, like I said, it's not something I can take credit because years ago something lucky happened to me. I did not win the lottery. I did not inherit any money. It started by meeting one man, a man who revolutionized my life and bank account. He was sharing these things with me today. You know, I had made a promise on that couch that I wouldn't allow myself to get to this place again. And don't get me wrong, promises are great. They're a good start, but uh, that's only the first thing. You know, the famous author Gary Keller, he says, willpower is finite. It will run out. Maybe you've tried the willpower game. Because even though you're willing to do whatever it takes to start making money, you must have the practical steps. So I wondered, you know, what steps would actually transform this little promise to myself on the couch into reality, into this kind of reality? You know, I started out asking friends, 
Uh, but they were as broke as me. It was kind of the blind leading the blind. I didn't grow up around wealthy people. I read some books, but they gave, you know, most of them were very general. Uh, some of them contradicted each other. If you read 10 books, sometimes you get 10 different answers, so it's hard to know what to follow. I went to different seminars, infomercials, I bought things online. It didn't take long to realize a lot of them, unfortunately, were taught by people who didn't get rich or successful by actually doing anything. They had just gotten that way by teaching other people. You know, it's kind of a Ponzi scheme if you've ever <laughs> seen one, right? So I tried the next thing. I went back to college because everyone said that I needed a degree to make money. But after one semester, I saw what was really happening. That was when I was beginning to understand this breakthrough of the timeline. I was just being taught how to become someone else's employee. It was kind of the corporate game. I wasn't creating wealth for myself. I was still trapped in that timeline, that corporate mindset, not the freedom mindset, not this dream I'm talking about. And I began to give up hope, I'm gonna be honest with you. I started to believe that the dream was dead. I started you know, blaming and all these things, the economy, taxes. I thought it wasn't possible to be successful until you were born into the right family or you inherited a fortune. You might be skeptical too right now. People are often skeptical when they hear, see a video like this. You, we've all heard, you know, it takes money to make money. If you don't have money, how can you start? We've heard all this about capitalism and its flaws and all these things. But, you know, or people say, oh, if there's some trick, why isn't everybody else doing it? Uh, you know, looking back now, I realize it wasn't my fault. It's probably not your fault either. The education system, the system in general has failed us. Uh, you know, I touched on this a little earlier. So let me just get to the next breakthrough tip. So if you're writing these down, uh, the next tip is that you have to remove the educational system brainwashing that is holding you back. It's broken. Modern schools don't prepare you to become rich or financially successful. They could, but they don't. Now, if you study history, it's obvious why. The current educational system was created a few hundred years ago by the British. They wanted to create cookie cutter, paper pushers to run their empire. Chunk, 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 chunk. They replaced practical, real world education with all the stupid stuff you and I grew up learning. Now, somehow, I don't know why, this outdated curriculum is still being taught today in kindergartens, elementary, junior, and high school, even in college and university. I bet it, all this makes sense to you. Think back to class, all the boring, random stuff. I mean, who remembers even 20% of high school or college class? Do you use social studies or geometry or calculus anymore? Now, I'm not saying those subjects are worthless. A small percentage of people will end up using them. Rocket scientists, nuclear physicists, mathematicians. But for the majority of us, school is basically glorified daycare. What about teaching us how to become financially independent? Why in the world was that left out? If that's not the biggest oversight in the solar system, then what is? You go to school to prepare. We don't go to school to make textbook publishers wealthy. You don't go to school to make someone else successful. The dream isn't the cubicle. It's supposed to be our personal freedom, living your life out with passion. Now, you want proof? I like to offer proof, so it's not just my opinion. Uh, according to Forbes magazine, the 400 wealthiest people in the world who did not go to college have a lot more money than the 400 richest people who did go to college. The average net worth of billionaires who dropped out of college is $9.4 billion. That is triple that of billionaires with college degrees and PhDs. Dropouts making more than all those fancy degree people. Bill Gates from Microsoft, Mark Zuckerberg, Steve Jobs, Sergey Brin and Larry Page from Google, Michael Dell, Ralph Lauren, Larry Ellison, Ted Turner, David Geffen, Howard Hughes, the college dropout list goes on and on. The same, you know, not just for billionaires, but multimillionaires. Simon Cowell, Abraham Lincoln, Rachel Ray, Coco Chanel, Mary Kay, Sean P. Diddy Combs, Vidal Sassoon, Wolfgang Puck. It's amazing, it's crazy. You know what's even crazier? If you look a little deeper, billionaires like Richard Branson, John Rockefeller, Walt Disney, Kirk Kerkorian, David Karp, Lee Cushing, those guys dropped out of high school. So did Ringo Starr from the Beatles. Elton John, Benjamin Franklin stopped at age 10. Thomas Edison went three months of school his entire life. He died one of the wealthiest people in the world. Ray A. Kroc started McDonald's after dropping out of high school at 15. Colonel Sanders started Kentucky Fried Chicken. He dropped out at sixth grade. Even Albert Einstein dropped out of school for a while. Now, listen, 
This is that do not oversimplify what I'm saying. Dropping out of school is not the solution. It goes way beyond that. This is, I, I don't want you to confuse causation and correlation. You cannot be ignorant or stupid to get rich. It does take ideas and skills to make money. The question though is, how did those people, men and women in that list I just gave, learn to make their money without a conventional modern education? The answer is simple. This elite group knows something our parents didn't know. They have a secret, an alternative. Let me let you in on it. This is the next breakthrough if you're writing these down. They didn't learn it in a classroom. They learned from someone else or I should say from someone else. They had knowledge passed down, transferred from mentors, not from professional school teachers. If you study the lives, you will see this for yourself. Study the lives of those great people. They almost always had at least one millionaire mentor, maybe more than one. That is the big trick. That is one of the biggest breakthroughs. That was my only secret. I found a millionaire mentor. You know, someone who cleaned out all that worthless stuff that was in the back of my mind from this education system that we have now. So, you know, in my story, when I was on that couch, I began to do this research. I began to see, you know, and I asked around. I asked my uncle, he's the smartest person I knew at the time about making money, and he said, uh, Ty, he said, uh, go look in the phone book. Find somebody who has a big yellow page ad. They'll probably be successful. So that's what I did. I went and I found a, a, the biggest yellow page ad and I made an appointment. I was with a guy named Mike Stainbeck, still a friend of mine. He lives in North Carolina. And I showed up and uh, I showed up his office. Kathy took me back to the back office and I was there. And um, I said to him, I said, Mike, you know, you don't know who I am. I don't really know you, but I know you must be successful. And as I saw your big yellow page ad, I figure anyone who can have a $30,000 ad must know what they're doing. And I remember he was sitting in his chair, he had a big mustache like Tom Selleck. And, and I said to him, I said, you know, if, if you teach me what you know, I'll work for you for free. And he kind of just took that chair, he was rocked back, and he just slowly turned to me. And he said, Ty, I've been looking for someone like you for 30 years. I said, show up in the morning, I'm going to give you a job. And sure enough, he did. And you know, when I was walking out the door after he said that, he said, hey, Ty, one thing. If you listen to what I'm about to tell you, one day you're going to hug my neck. And I think of those words a lot. You know, he knew I was going to be grateful. And I'm telling you this, not because I'm so special, but if you listen to what I'm going to continue to go through, these breakthroughs, and you don't just listen or hear, but you make these instinctually part of your outlook and approach to life, one day you are going to hug my neck. I get literally thousands of emails at a time from people coming through uh, the things that I'm teaching you. And it's just like back to those days, what Mike Stainback told me. And you know, I didn't stop. After Mike told me that and I began to gain momentum, uh, for the last 12 or more years, I've been asking the world's smartest, happiest, and wealthiest mentors to work with me. This journey's led me to over 51 countries and to five main mentors and 12 other business partners and advisors. All of them at the million dollar level, some of them closer to that billion dollar level. And you know, of course, I've always read a lot. Some of you know me as the guy who reads a book a day. But I begin to focus on reading books about wealth creation too. Through all this insight, things became pretty clear. Surprising. I began to compile what I learned. I literally started writing everything down on a whiteboard. It's kind of like that one behind me. I filled up one whiteboard, others. I ended up with whiteboards all over my office like a mad scientist. They're still all over my house here if you come ever to Hollywood. Uh, come check them out. Hundreds of rules, tips, secrets, and principles collected over more than 10 years. It ended up being about 300 steps, 300 breakthrough steps. At first, I have to confess, I did it just for myself. Uh, later, like I mentioned, I used it to train the CEOs of different companies I invest in. I started by trying to teach all 300 steps. I quickly realized that that was way too much for anyone to memorize. So I began to try to figure out how to compile and consolidate them into the minimum number of principles that I thought were realistic. About that time, I also stumbled upon some research by University College London that said it takes on average 
66 days to change habits. You don't need years to change habits, but it does take a little consistency. So I decided I'd take those 66 days, add one more for good luck, and I condensed all 300 of those principles into just 67 steps. One a day for 67 days. That's the scientifically proven amount of days to change habits. Habits of poverty, habits of debt and scarcity. We decided to call it the 67 Steps Mentor Program. And since I've released this program to a small group, it's been mind-blowing to see the results. Because you see, it's currently being used not by people who are born geniuses. In fact, the next breakthrough number six for you to understand is that the average millionaire was not born with some special talent or genius. Jay Zagorski, a researcher uh, and an author of a study on wealth and IQ at Ohio State University, says people don't become rich just because they are smart. Your IQ has really no relationship to your wealth. The billionaire Warren Buffett says that if you have an IQ over 120, you should sell the extra to someone else. You don't need it. Trust me, you have at least 120 IQ if you're still watching this. You must ignore the talent myth. This is one of the biggest lies of our century. You'll see it widespread throughout the media. The belief that some people are just born with magical abilities. Now, you might counter and say, but what about child prodigies? Tiger Woods, for example, is considered the most talented golfer of all time. But remember, was it really that you know, innate, inborn talent? But what about the fact that Tiger Woods was given a golf club before his first birthday? By the age of two, he had already played his first round of golf. And by five, he had accumulated more hours of practice than most of us get in a lifetime. What's actually more important is breakthrough number seven. Instead of being born a genius, which you can't control, you have to focus on what you can control. That's what Stephen Covey talks about in his famous best-selling book, The Habits of Highly Effective People. I personally think of it as external influence control, or in simpler terms, the law of 33%. A lot of people remember when I talked about that in my TEDx talk. You have to spend 33% of your time with people below your level. These are the people you can help. You can mentor them, and they, of course, they'll help your self-esteem. You'll realize you know, you're not doing so bad. Uh, then you have to spend 33% of your time around people on your level. Mahatma Gandhi talked about this in his autobiography. On your rise to the top, it can get lonely. So you need friends and allies on the same journey as you. But most importantly, and what most people forget, is that you have to spend 33% of your time around people 10 or 20 years ahead of you. This is the last part of the 33%. These are the mentors, people who have already achieved what you want to achieve. Let me ask you this question. This is a scary question. How many hours did you spend today, today, don't tell me about the future or the past, today, around someone 20 years ahead of you, someone who's already accomplished what you want to accomplish? Remember, other people affect us. They rub off on us. Jim Rohn, the famous coach, said your income level will be the average of your five closest friends. If you spend time around rich people, you will learn how to get rich. If you spend time around poor people, you will become poor. Your friends and acquaintances, they can drag you down even if they don't mean to. You cannot let this happen. External influence control. Remember, this goes beyond just your friends. It's all about the music you listen to, the TV, the movies, even the books. Like the old cliche, garbage in, garbage out. And I just wanna say, uh, even though I talked a lot about you know, this material success and how these 67 steps can help you make money, but what you're about to get access to goes way beyond money. That's the next breakthrough. If you're writing these down, this is the next one to write down. I mentioned this earlier, it's about the good life, health, wealth, love, and happiness. I know a guy, he's at the billion dollar level. He, I think he has one or two private 747s, not just private jets, he's at a whole nother level. But guess what? He's so unhealthy, He's bedridden, he's stuck in bed, he can't enjoy his wealth. Even someone in huge debt, even if that's you, you wouldn't trade for him, right? All the money in the world doesn't do you any good if you are unhealthy. I was talking about that Princeton University uh, a study, it was in Time Magazine. It showed that if on your quest for material things, you do things that alienate people and you end up lonelier, that all the happiness increase from the money will be offset by that loneliness. You have to have love. You know, I always say health, wealth, love. That's the third pillar. You have to get it all, the material things and the immaterial. Even though I've thrown a lot of food for thought at you as we've gone through these breakthroughs, almost everything I've talked about so far can be summed up 
in that one overarching magic ingredient. That common denominator in the success of almost every highly successful millionaire, billionaire, world impact, cha life changing person. Humans learn by example, by osmosis. The super wealthy are no different. They all had a mentor, they had a coach. Bill Gates had Ed Roberts. Oprah Winfrey had Mary Duncan. Steve Jobs had Robert Friedland. Warren Buffett had Benjamin Graham. Michael Jordan had Phil Jackson. Sam Walton had L.S. Robeson. Mark Zuckerberg was mentored by Steve Jobs. Sean Parker had Washington Post Don Graham. Jay-Z was inspired by Lior Cohen. Martin Luther King Jr. learned from Benjamin Mays. Tom Hanks had Rowley Farnsworth. Denzel Washington was coached by uh, Sidney Poitier. Andrew Carnegie had Thomas Scott. Larry Page learned from Steve Jobs. Bill Hewitt and David Packard had Frederick Terman. Mark Benioff had Larry Ellison. Michael Dell found Lee Walker. Jack Dorsey was mentored by philanthropist Ray Chambers. That's just a few. You see, you and I didn't get that lesson. We just got school teachers, babysitters. All the elite people had those teachers. If you don't do what those people do, if I don't do what those people did, the path that's been laid out before us, guess what? Our odds of real success become slim to none. You don't make it without a coach. Michael Jordan, the greatest natural talent maybe ever in basketball. He still needed Dean Smith. Phil Jackson, he had David Thompson, multiple mentors. So my question right now, who is your mentor? I'm not talking about a friend or a family member, but someone who is exactly where you want to be in 10 years. Going back to the beginning of this talk, I did that little you know, reward bias dream. Who already has that in your life that you're around today? Because look, unfortunately, it is damn hard to find someone to mentor you. It sucks because we all need the mentors, but most of them aren't willing to help. They're either too busy, they're doing their own thing, or you know they don't care, some of them, or they don't wanna share their secrets. Now, like I told you about Mike Stainback and other people, I've been fortunate enough to be able to convince people to, hey, help me, mentor me, show me what you know, cut the learning curve, you know, save me a decade or 20 or 30 years. Like Richard Dawkins says, the brain that we have is powerful so that we can simulate the future without having to go through the trial and error ourselves. And so once I grasp those 10 breakthroughs, that it's not about IQ, natural talent, the science, all those different ones that I'm talking about, that was all it took. Skyrocket me. All those things in the 67 steps. They started with 300. You know, I've shared 10 of them. Uh, but if you let them and you let the rest of them work for you, it will change your life. I want to give you an even faster shortcut. Why? Well, you know, years ago, kind of like you hear these stories when you're in the trenches in war and you make that promise to God. I made that promise that if I could make it, I would help other people make it too. And the reason I'm doing this video, standing in my garage here, uh, is me living up to that promise. You know, once I started a business and started making money, started having success, People start coming out of the woodwork, friends, acquaintances, old family members, classmates. They start asking me, hey, can you help me? And I wanted to help. I started by trying to introduce them to their own mentors. But all the mentors you know, that, that I could find were either too busy or too secretive. You know, they were off, I always say, my mentors now are off in private jets or doing business presidents and prime ministers. So after I tried that, it didn't work as well, just introducing people to other mentors, I switched to doing seminars and public speaking. I still do that. I just finished a world tour from you know, Hollywood, New York, Texas, Sweden, Germany, uh, Belgium, Florida, all over the place. But seminars and speaking are very limited. Not everyone has the time to come or you know, lives close enough to show up and listen in person. So over time, I figured out an answer. I wanted to create something online, a private website that anyone could access at any time uh, from any place, no matter their schedule or their budget, an online mentoring system. And I knew this virtual program had to be simple, convenient, a turnkey, step-by-step -step formula that anyone, beginner, you know, I got the most beginner people using it, and advanced, I just got off the phone today with someone who runs a big hedge fund, two people this weekend that are in the program. They all benefit from it. All this good stuff 
Imagine if you could download the knowledge, experience from the world's wisest people into your brain. The things we didn't get taught in school. What would you think would happen? All those 300 principles directly downloaded into your brain. Well, you know, it turned into a way bigger project. I was doing other stuff and when I started to focus on it, I was like, wow, you know, this is pretty tough. But we were determined. It took us about 11 months to compile it all and build it into this online program and hundreds of hours of carefully laying everything out and recording it. it. took a long time. We finished it. That's how this 67 Steps Mentor Program came about. Now, today a few of you will get access to this private system. This program is the first of its kind. I've looked around and trust me, there is nothing even remotely like this. It's the first system to actually guide you to the good life, health, wealth, love, and happiness. Not some get rich quick scheme, but a bulletproof system. It's the first program actually created online by the teachings of self-made millionaires. You know, I've put in things from my own experience, trusted mentors, people all collaborated. I set the bar high for all the mentors that have helped, you know, either in person or people that uh, they're studying them is in the program. I wanted to be sure they all were making, you know, 10 times more than the average person. Not so we could look up to them as some great people, but so we could be sure that they had started from nothing, that they didn't inherit their money or they hadn't just gotten lucky. You don't want to learn from that. It's hard, harder to know to, you know, there's a lot of static noise out there if you're listening to the wrong people. You know, it's awesome. Some of these mentors start with nothing, someone making over $50 million a year. I believe strongly you should only learn from the best. These are the best. I call it going straight to the top. For example, if you want to learn how to play basketball, you could learn from your neighbor or you could learn from Michael Jordan. It takes the same amount of time, so you might as well go straight to the top and learn from Michael Jordan. It's a lot faster. Uh, leading PhD in neurobiologist, Dr. Uh, Herman Garcia Fresco. Uh, he's a friend of mine, a close friend of mine. He was recently published in the most prestigious scientific journal for his discovery of the gene for paralysis. So uh, I printed out what he said here. Let me read it to you. This system has a real foundation in science. I did the due diligence. It's rather ingenious. They have analyzed scientific studies and used the latest cognitive research to develop a methodology that accelerates the success cycle. Using the same framework that I've employed in my 20 years as a neuroscientist. Although I'm not always comfortable realizing how some people might use this purely for materialistic endeavors, I am impressed by their use of the scientific method and that they base these techniques on empirical research. I respect the granular detail and unbiased conclusions. I am sure that men and women of all walks and backgrounds who want to build a higher income and more importantly a well-rounded life of success would benefit immensely from this practical program. My team and I have created something genuinely special for you. You can start learning in minutes from the comfort and privacy of your own home. Just watch the video mentor training and you will be all set. No confusing exercises or mindless repetition. The 67 steps concepts will be hardwired into your brain and you will be ready to use them before your next bills are due. No matter how much or little money you have right now, how old you are, or what you've tried before, just try being a part of this club at any stage in life and see how powerful it is for yourself. You can use it to quit your dead end job or to get that promotion you've always wanted or to finally turn that good idea that's been in the back of your mind all these years into your life's masterpiece. And since this mentor program does not require you to invest your life savings, you never have to put your hard earned money at risk, which makes this the perfect program for people without any startup capital. You can use it alone or try it together with a girlfriend, spouse, boyfriend, friend. When you can make money doing what you want, you will be shocked at how your passion for life is reignited. This system works like crazy for people with big dreams and also for those who have given up hope. Because the 67 step concepts are based on proven real world principles. These techniques, in a way, they compel the universe to give you what you deserve. You can use it to stand out from all the other people who struggle their whole life. Because you will have an unfair advantage. You will end up living the dream that everybody else fantasizes about. Your friends will be jealous but still give you respect. 
No more stress laying awake at night worrying about things. Just raw breakthroughs. So here's what you can expect when you take this 67 steps uh, system home with you. Here, let me have these. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So uh, Leonie Fisher from Los Angeles says, uh, I'd recently moved to LA and was stuck at a desk job, but now thanks to this system, I've quit my job. Wherever you are in life, you can benefit from the system. I know I'm a happier person because I get paid more for doing what I love to do. When you find something this good, you have to share it with your friends. Every single one I've shared it with has walked away, changed, and inspired. Her email is lr0718 at gmail.com, Leonie Fisher. From Sean. Over the years, I've searched to find better ways to live a happy and successful life through motivational speakers and self-help books. But instead of those things helping me, I found they only maintain the status quo. But then I found out about the 67 Steps program. This is now my guide. Not only has it opened doors, it has also increased my income. I now encourage all my friends and family to join. This is truly life-changing. If you want to talk to me personally, you can reach me at SeanGermain44 at yahoo.com. This is from Francesca. Uh, from Tucson, Arizona. I've been a member for over a year now and have grown tremendously. Everything is delivered in a clear, direct, and digestible way. I now understand that what's important is mindset and habits. Uh, it's inspiring. That's Francesca Ritchie. Uh, Everlicia Taylor from Tampa, Florida says, Every week since I've joined, I literally call my friend back home and give him a play-by-play. -play. I feel extremely lucky to have this opportunity. I am thankful. I've learned about money and about investing in myself, paying myself first. I'm now saving and investing into my future. It's uh, everlicia.taylor at facebook.com. And finally, uh, Alita McDaniel says, when I asked, this delivered. Since I began, I found the courage to live my life's purpose. In the last few months, I found a perfect business partnership with full creative expression and the ability to travel the world doing what I love most. It's everything I've ever wanted and more. I'm truly grateful for all the teachings. Also feel free to have your people look me up on Facebook if they have any questions about the system. It's at facebook.com slash alita.mcdaniel or alita at bodyeverlasting.com. Now, in just a few minutes, I'm going to show you what you can do to become the next success story. But first, let me explain exactly what you're about to get in this program so you understand. This program is absolutely abundant with knowledge. There are 67 core steps you're going to get access to. I won't list them all out right now because we've already been talking for a while and it'll take a little while. But let me give you the highlights. We're going to start by discovering your wealth destiny. This is the foundation. This transforms what you're passionate about into wealth. Picasso said, never permit a dichotomy to rule your life, a dichotomy in which you hate what you do so you can have pleasure in your spare time. Look for a situation in which your work will give you as much happiness as your spare time. So imagine taking your fun hobbies, your strengths, and turning them into a lifestyle, a prosperity lifestyle. I'm talking about the things that you do for fun anyway in your free time, the stuff you really, really enjoy. Maybe it's traveling or shopping, music, cooking, or eating. It could be surfing the internet, writing, animals, hiking, going to the beach, gardening. Whatever your passion is, it can make you a fortune while filling your life with fun and fulfillment. You will tap dance out of bed every morning. What you love to do can make you financially independent. Joel Salatin used to tell me, Ty, if you have to take a vacation from your work, you should never come back. And you're about to learn how. You're going to learn how to attract millionaire mentors. People to guarantee your rise to the top. Not only will this system, okay, be like an online mentor, but it will also help you find local mentors too. Finding these mentors can be elusive, but you're about to learn how to make it very simple. Next, you're going to learn about the deserve it factor. The billionaire Charlie Munger says, to get what you want, you have to deserve what you want. The world is not yet a crazy enough place to reward a whole bunch of undeserving people. The question is, how do you up this deserve it factor? 
you're about to get the inside story on how. You're going to discover the front loading factor. Look, there are a lot of scams out there that talk about creating automatic income, but most are just hocus pocus. You know, they're just a mirage, I call them. So you're going to learn why front loading is the key ingredient to the holy grail of the, you know, making money while you sleep. You're going to master the passport principle. You never again have to wake up early or be stuck in traffic commuting to a dead end job because now you work wherever you want, whenever you want, with whoever you want. Remember I talked about freedom units. Picture yourself sleeping in and then getting up and having a relaxing cup of coffee with your wife or husband, smiling, realizing that you don't have anywhere to go or anyone to report to. Everything you need to make a life is right there. You might be the adventurous type and your dream is to spend time globe trotting. You're not going to get to Cancun, Hawaii or the Caribbean doing what you're doing now. The passport principle is about to set you free. I have to tell you, some of this stuff, you might be a little shocked and angry that no one taught you this in school. You're going to learn a Jedi mind trick to get other people doing the hard stuff. Remember, I'm not going to lie. You have to do some work to make money, but I'm going to show you how to get other people to partner with you so that their strengths cover things that are your natural weaknesses or things you just don't like doing at all. Most people think it's just you know outsourcing, hiring, or delegating. The real answer comes straight from the teachings of the wealthiest man of the last hundred years, and you're going to learn what those are. Discover the Lollapalooza effect, the 25 cognitive bias implant techniques, where things like three tiny body language shifts will have rich investors funding your dream with their money. You must be persuasive and you must understand these 25 cognitive biases. How to own multiple homes and have other people pay for them. You ever dreamed of a summer house, beach condo, mountain cabin? There is a reason wealthy families have more than one house. Find out the inside scoop to owning multiple homes, oftentimes debt free. The credit card combination. How can you use credit cards to make a profit? Once you know this, you'll actually look forward to getting your billing statement in the mail because you have reverse engineered the system. Go from being used by the credit card companies to having them work for you. Every smart millionaire knows how. Remember, debt is a double-edged sword. If you have no path to revenue, you want to avoid debt. But if you have a clear path, then you can learn how leverage can be your biggest ally. That's what Sam Walton did as he built you know, the, the biggest empire of all ever. You're going to understand the biological signals that show on your right hand. They tell you what type of money-making opportunities match your natural strengths. Now remember, this isn't something weird like palm reading. This is mainstream science that will give you insight into your personality and financial destiny. Remember, Plato, Aristotle, Socrates, they quoted the Oracle of Delphi who said, know thyself. Remember I was talking about Peter Drucker earlier? He said most people think they know what they're good at. Most people are wrong, but you can only build on strength. You're about to discover the six Eulerian destiny hints that will give you the most clarity you've ever felt in your entire life. Next, you're going to learn how to get the equivalent of a Harvard MBA without having to spend, you know, $250,000 in two, three, four years of your life. In fact, you can do this for less than $100. This skill comes from understanding a little known scientific principle called ESS. Find out about investing in gold. Skip all the misinformation and learn if this precious metal can really keep you safe through the next recession. My answer is going to surprise you. Discover the idea meter, a no-nonsense way to filter out the good investments from the bad ones. Look, there's a lot of temptations out there. And trust me, once you start making money, everyone and their brother is going to try to persuade you to try something new. Having this meter is the difference between you getting rich once and then losing it all or you staying rich forever. I call this the lottery versus the sculpture. You must understand this. 93% of people surveyed have an item in their home and it's destroying their chances of making serious cash. The good news is I'm going to show you how to hide it. Next, we're going to learn the law of 12. Now, if you break this law, I guarantee that anything you try will probably fail. That's why the average person, uh, most people after one failure, about 60% of people will never try again. After two failures, about 70 or 80 percent, and after three failures, 90 percent of people will stop. It's better to learn from other people's mistakes. That's what you're going to learn here, so that you won't fail. Now, these 12 law, this law of 12 is so important that I won't even help someone. I won't even bother to help someone who won't follow them. You have to understand the cabinet effect and how to make war with a multitude of counselors. You're going to learn two little-known websites that, believe it or not, 
will have strangers around the globe sending you money for free just because they want you to succeed. This all comes from understanding the man on the moon principle. Remember, I know it sounds too good to be true, but in this case, what seems impossible will seem like child's play once you make this shift. It's a mental shift that will allow these things to start happening. The real way to invest in real estate, not the lies that made everyone lose their shirt in the last you know, 2008 big housing bubble. This is your underground guide to everything you need to know about this important asset. Conrad Hilton, he's the grandfather of Paris Hilton. She actually is my neighbor at the bottom of the hill here. Uh, but you know, he's the one who made the money. Conrad Hilton, the great real estate billionaire, was actually taught what you're gonna learn from Helen Keller. Three widespread ideas that you must never try. For some reason, people gravitate towards these like a moth to a light bulb. But these three almost always will end in bitter disaster. All the books will tell you these three ideas are safe. But listen, watch out. The masses uh, and their natural tendency towards media bias has to be overcome. This is straight from Bill Gates and what I call understanding the 10 dark years. Learn the truth about making money online. You know, the gurus say the internet is the future and they're half right. But you better know the long laundry list of things that are too late to try. Don't spin your wheels and waste time chasing a mirage. Find out the where, the why, and the how so that the internet can catapult you forward, not hold you back. Peter Drucker forecasted this back in 1999, but most people still ignore it. And let's not forget to evolve beyond just the materialistic. Use the selfless snowball effect to become a hero in your community, for your favorite charities, and for the greater good of mankind. The unintended side effect is that helping others will make you even more prosperous by building up your reputation. You will learn all about the three levels of prosperity and why you only want to be level three. This is the foundation of what you're going to learn is called the integrated good life and the four pillars of eudaimonia. You're going to learn 28 magical words that open the doors to the inner circle where the VIP deals are done. This is going to blast you through that glass ceiling that holds other people back whether you do it as an entrepreneur or in the job that you have to get a promotion. The great philosopher Wittgenstein spoke about the power of words. You're gonna harness that power. You're next, you're gonna learn how to read people. Persuasion lies at the core of everything you want out of life. Now, I want you to be careful not to use this to manipulate, only persuade for good. You're gonna get access to what I call the PACE system, P-A-S-E. It's a personality typing system I pioneered years ago that you can learn and use to read a situation and adjust accordingly. Plus, you're gonna learn about an inexpensive office accessory that you can get for less than $10 that guarantees you a massive return on investment. This is based upon the work of Descartes, the philosopher and mathematician who said, I think, therefore I am. I keep this with me everywhere I go. Autopilot automation. We're gonna talk about that. Never burn out again. Your own personal retirement pension plan. Remember, the only way to offset monthly bills is to cover them with monthly recurring income. This is your foolproof method to destroying the tyranny of the 1st and the 15th. The burden of debt, those bills. You know, so I want you to consider this a big blank sign check to launch your dreams. And you're going to learn much, much more. Now, because you've been paying attention so far, you probably realize how powerful the 67 Step Mentor Program really is and you're starting to imagine you know, all the ways you can use it in your own life. And right now, you might have a couple of questions, like you know, I get people going, how can I get access to this right now? How much is it gonna cost? Uh, is it guaranteed to work for me? So let me answer those questions right now, but before I answer, let me ask you one question. What's it worth to you to know that no matter how far behind you are now, no matter how little money you have today, you are finally about to stop struggling? because your dreams, destiny, and happiness are all finally being fulfilled. What's it worth to know that you'll never have to stay up late at night worrying about how you're gonna make ends meet because you have cash saved up in the bank? What's it worth to have unlimited respect from other men and women? Financial prosperity and life, good life prosperity holds the key to unlocking powerful friendships. When you control the money, you can control who you spend time with. That's those freedom units and doors of opportunity will open up for you that you never imagined existed. What's it worth to be so in tune with success that it flies to you like you're a magnet because you're abiding by proven strategies that 99% of people just don't get? The people who have access to the 67 Steps program right now say they can't begin to put a price on the transformation. 
It truly is a higher standard of living and the pathway to a richer, more fulfilling life. Several customers have been quoted saying that they would have gladly paid, you know, whatever, tens of thousands of dollars to access this program. But because you're on this page, you're going to get access to this system for just a fraction of that. Listen, this 67 steps program is not, you know, a scam. It's not a game. It's a powerful system that contains very serious tools. The power and persuasive tools you will learn with the techniques can cause permanent changes, not only in your life, but in the lives of people who depend on you. If you use this with evil intent, you could use this to manipulate others. You can literally destroy someone with the principles in the system if you're not careful. That's why I created this as a small private test group for the people who find this page. But you have to be willing to claim your spot now. So I've decided to open this up to the next hundred men and women who find the page. And look, you're not going to pay thousands to get the system. You won't pay 500 or even 300. You won't pay 200. In fact, you won't even pay 100. When you claim your spot in the private test group today, you'll get instant access to the entire 67 Steps Mentor Program for just 67. Over the next month, that's going to break down to less than two a day. I read that the average person spends, I think in the US, $80 a month on coffee. So this is less expensive than what people are spending on coffee. It's amazing how people wonder why they are poor, but they still spend you know, $1,000 a year making someone else rich. They make Howard Schultz, you know, the owner of Starbucks. He's the guy getting rich. But then when it comes to doubling down and investing on themselves, they are penny wise and dollar foolish. That cannot be you. Look, this even costs less than a bottle of champagne that I hope one day soon you're gonna be popping open to celebrate. Now, some people are hesitant to spend money. They're worried about buying the wrong thing or they think that they should just save money until they are wealthy. But the next breakthrough is that all wealth is created through spending. Never forget that. It sounds counterintuitive at first, but I can prove it with logic. How did, like we talked about earlier, Oprah, Bill Gates, Warren Buffett, or Richard Branson create their wealth? They spent time, energy, and money. Of course, you have to spend wisely and not waste, but most people are in such a scarcity mindset that they never realize that the reason they feel scarcity, the reason they're in scarcity, is that they never break the cycle by acting prosperous, even before the prosperity is there. Remember, if you try to save your way rich, you have two things working against you. One, inflation is devaluing your money every day. The economy is spending your money for you at the rate of you know three to four percent. That means every 15 or 20 years, the value of your savings drop in half, even if you don't spend it and just hide it under a mattress. As Will Durant says in his book, The Lessons of History, it's one secret of the powerful that having studied the fluctuations of prices, they know that history is inflationary and that money is the last thing a wise man will hoard. You have to come from a new mentality. You know, one of my buddies uh, in London, he took his credit card, all the money he had and didn't have really, and he spent it but not on consumer spending. He spent it on investing. He doubled down on his own brain, and now I think he just got honored by the Queen of England, you know, making millions of dollars a, a month, I think. I don't understand why people don't get this. This has been right in front of our nose all along. I was with a buddy in Barnes & Noble, the bookstore, the other day. He's always broke. I said, I picked up a book. I said, uh, buy this Charlie Munger book. He's a billionaire. He talks about how he did it. My friend said, sure, picked it up, but then we were walking to the cash register, he noticed the price was like 92. So he said, Ty, I cannot afford this. And I said, yeah, you can't afford it because in the past you had enough money, but you spend it on what I call RRD spending, the worst kind of spending. I said, how much did you spend on those shoes, those Jordans you're wearing? He said, 120. I said, how much are they worth now after you bought them and wore them? He said, basically they're worthless. And I said, yeah, you spend money just as a consumer, not as an investor. You spend it on RRD consumption. Rust, rot, and depreciate. That's what one of my mentors, Dr. Gordon Hazard, one of the wealthiest men in Mississippi and in the United States taught me. He said, Ty, never invest in things that rust, rot, and depreciate, things that go down in value. Cars, rent, electronics, vacations. These things are fun in the moment and you will need to spend some, but they have no long-term investment value. You cannot be like the masses anymore. You have to spend your money, but spend it on things with a 10x return. Remember that, 10x. That's what best investors, people like Peter Thiel, you know, one of the big 
venture capitalists out there in the world. He spends his money on things that will make him at least 10 times more than he originally put in. 10x in seven years is considered a good return. What you're getting today will give you much more than a 10x return and a lot less time than seven years. That's a no-brainer. Remember, do not be penny wise and dollar foolish. You must double down and invest in yourself. That's the only person that you can truly control in life. The only one who has 100% of your DNA is you. Your mom doesn't, your brothers don't, your dad doesn't. You can control yourself. Everything else is just chasing a mirage. And so, because you're part of this test group and it's in my best interest for you to succeed, I'm gonna include some bonuses that aren't available anywhere else. So, you know, I wanted to guarantee that this worked for you, so I asked my team, I said, look, arm these people to the teeth. Give them everything they need. And so they came back to me and I was shocked when they brought me the list, but I was like, let's go for it. Let's give it to them. So what you're getting as a free bonus, number one, is the investment secrets of the ultra wealthy. How to keep what you make. So as you go through this 67 steps, as you change habits, change mindsets, go from scarcity to a prosperity mindset and begin to reap the rewards. Uh, you don't want to be like one of my neighbors up here, Mike Tyson. He made $400 million and then guess what? Lost it all. Now, if you think being poor is bad, I will tell you what's worse. Being rich and then losing it all. The human mind uses a relative uh, scale. If you take one step forward, but two steps backwards, you'll be million, uh, miserable. Somebody who makes a million dollars, uh, but then loses you know, 100,000 is more miserable than somebody who makes 100,000 and figures out how to just make 5,000 more, that relative scale. So as this 60 steps program kicks in and you start getting the success results, I want you to get this very special recording I did on, not, uh, on how to not just get ahead, but how to stay ahead. This is based on the exact formula of the wealthiest families, the Waltons, the Rothschilds, the Fords. Now, I normally charge 497 for this, but I'm gonna throw this in free because I think it's important. Number two, I'm gonna give you this VIP concierge guide. I want you to start preparing for a fun new problem in your life. As soon as you start moving up this pyramid, this wealth pyramid, you're gonna to wanna to hire some help. This bonus guide, it's not available anywhere else, is gonna show you how to reconfigure your life to enjoy the fruits of your labor. You know, the best way to buy a Lamborghini maybe, a Porsche, a guest house, plus, you know, maids, personal chefs, all these things. Your life is about to get way less stressful because everyone will be focused on taking care of you. Now, let me add that I know this sounds a bit materialistic, but as I've experimented with many different lifestyles, from Beverly Hills to back when I was living with the Amish in a log cabin with no electricity or running water, no cars, horse and buggy, one thing I learned is that you need a healthy balance uh, of, of unselfish, altruistic kind of charitable goals alongside some selfish ones. You're gonna actually end up doing more good for the world at large by motivating yourself at times, not all the time, with some fun toys, whether it's a shopping spree, a luxury vacation, or a fast car. As the great teacher Rabbi Hillel said, if you don't love me, who will? But if I only love me, what am I? This special bonus is yours today. Next, you're gonna get uh, number three, speed reading wizardry. As the old saying get goes, readers are leaders. Bill Gates, Warren Buffett, they agree that if they could have one superpower, it would be the ability to be the fastest reader in the world. Reading more than your competition will give you an edge. You'll be the first to catch the new trends. Now, who has the time to sit down for three or four hours a day and read a whole book, right? Not many of us. Now, until now, because I'm gonna show you how to turn your mind into a vacuum, to absorb entire books in under 20 minutes while still remembering the important parts. You're gonna add this to your arsenal and your friends are gonna be amazed while you reap the rewards. Now, this goes beyond just speed reading. You're gonna get access to my six video series. It's a new series I created. Uh, it, I call it a technique called smart reading. You're gonna learn how to not only read faster, but you're gonna learn the routine that I follow, the types of book to read, what time of the day. Now, this again, I charged 97 for, but today uh, it's also yours free. Next, the total memory system. You know, it's not enough to just be successful and be able to read fast. You need to remember what you read. Remember I was talking about the Dalai Lama, the three levels of success? Hearing, comprehending, but making it instinctual, that's what you have to, uh, uh, you know, 
You have to aspire to. Over the years as I've read thousands of books, I've developed special shortcuts of my own to have a, a powerful recall. It's not that hard, I'm gonna show you. The payoff is massive. A lot of people ask me, how do you remember all these quotes in these books? And it's not because I'm so smart. It's because I developed systems. Joel Salatin used to tell me, systems trump willpower, okay? You're gonna be surprised how you'll command people's attention with this newfound skill. Again, this is something you can buy separately, if, if, uh, but it's 97, but again, I wanna load you up with everything you need to succeed. That's my goal. Uh, next, you're gonna get a free membership to my invitation only social networking groups. Now, remember, the key to learning and growth is social learning. If you're only reading books or self-help alone, you're making it too hard on yourself. You know, there's that book Social by the uh, Harvard uh, uh, guy, Matt Lieberman. He talks about the hardwiring of our brain and how it's built to learning groups. The famous sociologist, Robin Dunbar, came up with Dunbar's number. That is the number 150. That's what our brain is accustomed, uh, or, or we could say wired to be around in terms of friends, acquaintances, and so when it comes to learning, I've created two powerful social learning groups that are both private, these are invitation only, that you're gonna get access to. One is the 67 Steps website uh, social networking group, and the other is a private closed Facebook group. These two groups give you access to new level, uh, new friends who are on your level, to potential allies, investors, business partners, affiliates, new employees, contractor, people find boyfriends, girlfriends, and love. So this mastermind you're gonna get instant access to. Uh, to some of the most successful entrepreneurs in the world, some people who are going the same place is not going to drag you down. Remember the law of 33%. This is an amazing source of quick practical answers. You have questions, hey, does anybody know this in my area and so on? So remember, as the saying goes, it's not what you know, it's who you know. Next, you're going to get an accelerator call. Okay, so having a customized plan is important. You don't just want a cookie cutter approach. Your situation is unique. Now, I've tested what works best and found that an accelerated call uh, with one of the experts on my team is gonna supercharge your success. So, on my website, you will see that's listed at 497, but my goal here, again, is not to make the maximum money. That's not why I do this. So, again, we're gonna include one accelerator call uh, for you today. All right, number seven. Some of you want to work with me personally and ask me questions. Now, I charge, you know, personally $10,000 to do an hour to do consulting to companies, but I, I again, my, my goal is not to work with huge companies. I like working with individuals, people who have the same story uh, and the same struggle that I, I've had. So today I want to give you access to two small group calls a month, completely included in this program. So you can watch it from your phone or computer and you'll actually be live so you can ask me questions. Right? As you go more and more advanced through the program, um, it's very important that you have the ability to talk to me personally. So it'll be a small group setting. Uh, you can access it, it's twice a month. Uh, and so it, the people that are coming in that find that's just like supercharges the success. The online, do st the stuff you can do at your own pace combined with this. And again, I used to charge it separate, but I've decided uh, I wanna put this in this test group that you're part of now, at least for now. now Love, the third pillar of life. Three tips that'll turn around your love and social life, friend, family, and romance. That's the next bonus. Remember, it doesn't matter if you're single, married, or in a relationship. What's about to happen to you, this success, has the power to revitalize your romance life. You know, what does it take to kiss goodbye to struggling to find good date, boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife, friends, the right people to network? When you become successful, New types of people are gonna be attracted to you. They're gonna to wanna to be near you, talk to you, spend time with you. This is true even if you're already in a relationship. You're about to get a big boost. I was recently reading that almost 50% of divorce and breakups are about money. But you're gonna need these tips to keep money from accidentally harming your love life. Not just money, but success overall. If you're not careful, can intimidate and push people away. But there is a handbook, and I'm gonna give you this handbook for what you know, myself and those people and mentors, even more advanced than me, much more advanced, uh, have to say about this new improved social and love life. Now, number nine, the ninth bonus here, all is free. I'm gonna give you uh, something about health the first pillar of the good life. Eight ways to use your newfound success to keep you young and healthy physically. Now remember, it's a fact. A higher income will, on average, 
make you live longer and look better. It's no secret that Brad Pitt and Jane Fonda have hardly aged. It's money, right? Unfortunately, making money doesn't automatically make you look young and fit. You need the tricks of the trade that people here in Hollywood guard jealously. Now, fortunately, you know, some of my sources and friends have leaked me this stuff. And again, I'm not talking about plastic surgery. These are all natural method, you know, methods. I don't know, I'm not big on all that stuff they do here in Hollywood, but I partnered with one of the top celebrity personal trainers, okay? And he's gonna help you revolutionize not just the things in this program like your bank account, your social life and happiness, but he's gonna help you revolutionize not just your, you know, love, wealth and happiness, but also help you stay lean, strong and healthy. You know, he actually, this uh, celebrity coach, he actually uh, was introduced to me through the 67 Steps program. He went through it. Uh, and last, last bonus, but not least, number 10, my app list. People always ask me which apps on my phone are most important, the ones I keep on my phone to keep my productivity high. You know, I own multiple businesses. I get, oh, I don't know, 500 emails a day. There are basically way too many apps to help you. Most of them end up hurting you. Most of them are worthless, but there are a few that have transformed my life. Some of them are completely unknown, and I'm gonna throw in that entire list as another bonus. Again, all these things for only 67. Remember, the actual original price for this program is much higher, okay? But the way I decided to do this is kind of like a university with scholarships. Each month I set aside a certain amount of partial scholarships where I waive most of the cost. That's what you saw with all those bonuses. I don't want things to be completely free. You know, one of my mentors, Joel Salatin, said, Ty, if you give things away completely free, people don't value what they got and it doesn't benefit them. So again, I'm only giving out scholarships to the next 100 listeners who take action, okay? After that, you know, all these bonuses, all these things, uh, you'll have to buy separately, okay? So as soon as this 100th spot is claimed, this offer is coming down. So if you're watching this right now, there are still some spots available. But this is truly, you know, a snooze you lose situation as about, uh, probably about 2,000 people are watching this video right now. So if this is something you wanna improve your life, click the button below this video to claim your spot. You can feel good knowing that your decision to get in the program, by the way, is fully guaranteed. So here's what I mean. Uh, I believe so strongly in this 67 Steps Mentor Program. I know it's so powerful, so different than anything you've ever tried before, that I guarantee that your life is about to be revolutionized in the next 67 days, and that you will finally be on the road to riches. It's as simple as that. It's guaranteed to work for you. If for some reason you're not happy, just send an email. You don't like the color, you don't like the you don't like my face, you don't like whatever it is, okay? No questions asked. We'll refund every penny. And you'll still have gotten to listen to all the material, you've gotten the bonuses. The only one who should be afraid to lose here is me. But listen, clients from around the world uh, are eager to shell out tens of thousands of dollars per hour for working with me, you know, one-on-one. -on -one. I'm one of the highest paid consultants on the internet. My rate comes out, like I said, to about a million dollars a year for private coaching. So I know that this stuff works and I know the chances that you'll want a refund are very slim. I put my own personal name on this. And remember, this isn't my main source of income, so there is no way I would jeopardize my reputation for a few bucks. I can look you in the eye honestly and say, this is gonna make you very, very happy. Trust me and see. And remember, the best part is you're gonna get direct access to the private membership area through this website. You're gonna have access in just a few minutes, depending on how fast you can put your info in on the next page. No waiting for the mailman and no mysterious boxes to show up at your place. Just instant access to this life-changing information from the privacy of your own home. Now, right now, you have an important decision to make. Most likely one of the most important decisions you'll ever make. The one that could have a dramatic effect on not only your bank account and social life, but also your health and happiness. What it comes down to is this. You can go on from here alone and keep doing what you've been doing all along, the same way before you found this page, continuing to experience the frustration and challenges that brought you here and kept you listening in the first place. Or you can click the link below right now and get access to the 67 Steps Mentor Program. It's the most powerful system in the world for attracting success to yourself. And do it now because at any moment, the price will be raised. I've already raised it three times simply because the demand was so high. And like I said earlier, I wanna throttle how many people get in here so there can still be you know, interaction in these groups. I don't want, I'm not trying to build an empire here. Now, obviously I can't make the decision for you, but I honestly believe everything happens for a reason. You know, 
it's not just luck. There might be fate, but I believe it's no accident you're here right now watching this. So go ahead and give it a try. Again, you're not risking anything, fully guaranteed. It's simple. I wouldn't make that promise if I wasn't absolutely sure. You have to think of life as a series of experiments. Remember I was talking about the spring of your life. You can't make mistakes when you see things as experiments. This is another experiment for you to try and since there's a guarantee, there's no risk. Now, the good news is this is an experiment that has already proven to work over and over for thousands, tens of thousands of people in 40 countries from all walks of life. So when you click the button below, you can feel confident that you're about to stop struggling and finally achieve the success that you want in health, wealth, love, and happiness. So go ahead, click the button below. Enter your information on the secure 256-bit SSL encrypted form on the next page. I make sure it's all safe and secure. Your information is 100% confidential. You'll enjoy full privacy inside our instant access member area. Now, you're gonna look back at this day. Remember I was talking about Mike Stainback where he said one day, Ty, you're gonna hug my neck. You're gonna look back and see today as a crucial turning point in your life. Everything is going to change. You're not gonna have to worry like you did before. So right now, click the button below to get started. Oh, and by the way, uh, are you still here? Are you still thinking about this? I know I mentioned at the beginning uh, that you're gonna get your uh, free gift just for listening in. So let me do that. I also wanna answer questions. Every day I get a ton of questions from people referred to us by existing members. Our members have such crazy success, they end up telling all their friends and family. So let me answer some of the more common questions you have. She might be sitting there you know, or watching on your phone making your decision. And I'm also, like I said, gonna get you that free gift for 97 just for listening in. So, uh, one question is, how fast will I start seeing results? Now, John Wooden used to say, be quick but not in a hurry. Joel Salatin used to say, make haste slowly. I call it the difference between, there's different kinds of uh, patience, right? There's such thing called IP and PI. Okay, impatiently being patient or patiently being impatient. Uh, a simpler way than saying that is that you should start things immediately, but realize, you know, that nothing happens overnight. Although, I'm telling you, and I say this in all honesty, people, like I read you, Matt Posius, people see revolutionary change overnight. You know, that one guy going from 2000 to 6000. Now, not everybody does that, you know. I, I, this is not some tricky thing that I'm trying to do. I'm just saying, don't limit yourself. Things can happen very, very fast. Like Tony Robbins says, all change happens, uh, you know, in the blink of an eye. So it's kind of like going on a diet. In a certain way, though, you know, the Amish used to tell me, a fence that goes up fast falls down fast. Like a diet, people that lose all the weight in one week likely to uh, you know gain it right back so I pace myself a little bit the goal is permanent change not a quick one-time spurt that's why we're basing this on the science the 67 day program it's not too long it's not too short so make sure you go through the whole system before you jump ahead the members who are a little patient have a significantly higher long-term success rate so give yourself every possible advantage it can be the difference between you having just a little success you know, today, are you actually making it big time? All right, uh, another common question. How do I know that this will work for my exact situation? And this one's easy to answer. Uh, I see massive change. Like I said, I talked to 15 year old kids in the program, 80, a, a doctor or a lawyer, sorry, the other day, he's like, I'm 62. This is changing my life. I just got off the phone earlier today with a hedge fund, uh, actually not hedge fund, a private equity, uh, uh, founding you know, partner. You're talking about somebody with a net worth 40, 50 million dollars. I couldn't believe it. She's in the program. You know, so I've seen it work because we went straight to the top to build this. So the principles are so powerful. They really it's it's literally like having a nuclear, you know, nuclear reactor behind you. It just can plow through problems whether they're huge or smaller. So I wouldn't even have wasted time of putting this up if I didn't see it working consistently. So what you're about to learn, like I said, it's so tried and true that I have 100% confidence and a money back guarantee. Uh, so, you know, after tw I've been doing this for a long time in person uh, for about the last 12 years, whether it be consulting, 
clients, worked with over 6,000 people in person. And like I said, I reach about a million and a half people in 40 countries now. Uh, and I haven't seen anybody. Actually, the interesting thing with 67 Steps is it looks like we're on track to have about a million positive comments. That's a lot. You know, I'm talking about people from all walks of life, all ages, all locations. This stuff is real. Um, some people ask me, they say, hey, I've heard about get rich quick schemes. How do I know this isn't one of them? Well, look, here's the difference between this program and a scam. Very simple. A scam doesn't work. That's the only reason people call it a scam. You know, people go, oh, it's Lamborghini. Oh, yeah. Like you're trying to, look, I only show you the Lamborghini, like I said, because it's part of my story. This isn't something I bought for this video, right? A scam doesn't work. It takes your money. It leaves you with nothing. This is a 10x program. You're going to get 10 times more value. I guarantee you. I mean, I, I can say that unequivocally. A scam offers you something external, some shiny object. Ooh, buy this and trade this and press this button. But when the scam is exposed, like Warren Buffett says, when you see who, uh, when the tide comes in, you see who's swimming naked. But this system is different. It's not an external system. It works on the one thing that you have ultimate control over, your own mind. And once those good seeds get planted, they can't be taken away. Government, recession, divorce, sickness. This is yours to keep forever. I see people make money and lose it. Even Mike Tyson, to his credit, $400 million and lost it. He recovered. Because he had learned, you know, look at Mike Tyson. He was mentored by some sharp guys. He had some sharks around him. But when he internalized and learned and made it instinctual, nothing could hold him back. He's back on top. Now, someone says, what if I have a hard time following through? I get that a lot, you know, procrastination. There is the simplest solution to procrastination. I told you, I built some of it already into the program. Learning by example, by having good habits rub off on us. Learning by example is so much easier than trying to use pure willpower. A great book, uh, like I talked about that, Gary Keller, The Power of One, or One Thing. So you're not going to be left alone. That's why I built in the accelerated program, the access to the two private networks, and twice a month where you can come on on a kind of a, not accountable in a, in a bad way, but just kind of a curriculum that you can follow so you can sit back and let the success and mindset rub off on you. It's very important. You can get that positive nudge that you need to take you from procrastination to implementation, right? So I don't think I think those concerns are very irrelevant, you know. So that's why I said, click this button, you will see. Uh, now, some people say, why have I never heard of this? Now, I want you to understand this started out of you. Know, I'm a businessman. I did not start in the business doing it so I could be sharing things like this. People ask me all the time. I've always been a social guy, do big parties here in the Hollywood Hills, you know, 500 people show up and people ask me, what's your story? You know, da, da, da. And so I started out just doing, or literally here in my house, I have a pretty big house, an eight bedroom house. I started just doing some seminars here. I didn't advertise, it was just word of mouth. I wanted, I wasn't in the thing to reach. And even now I'm not here to get 10 million people doing this. I've always liked that quote. There was a quote in the 1800s that said, give me 100 good people who fear nothing and who care not who they are, they alone will shake the earth. And that's been this philosophy. Give me 100 people with open minds, change the world. Give me 300. You know, ever since I saw that movie 300, I went from 100, I said, let's do 300. So, you know, it's grown with word of mouth, members referring friends and family, I realized I needed a website. It's not scalable. It's not realistic for me to just, you know, talk to people one on one. I, I can't. I can't do it. Even now, I get more emails than I can even remotely handle or Facebook posts and comments. And so, so I started doing this target advertising of these little focus groups. This focus group is, you know, the one that you're in. This test group. And I recently just decided, look, I'm going to open up the window, uh, and and see what happens and then I want to close it again. And sometimes people don't realize I'm serious about that. My goal is not to make a big name for myself. I'd like to help a few people, someone like you, help you live out that amazing life just like I made that promise that I would pass on this stuff. Uh, another question, how much money will I make? Now, look, the goal is for you to make a lot of money, but there's obviously variation among humans. 
Like Will Durant says, we're all born with different capacities and different skills. But I believe very sincerely that you and every person can get to financial independence. Okay, not everybody's gonna be a billionaire. It means I'm talking about independence or prosperity. A life where you don't have stress about money on a continual basis. Where you can do what you want, when you want, with whoever you want. So the income level needed, it depends uh, where you live, it varies, you know, how old you are. If you're 70, it's different than if you're 18 or 30 and have four kids. So it, I can't give you an exact number, I would never do that, there's a wide range. I've seen people make millions uh, and I've seen people just, who didn't care about millions, who just said, now I feel, you know, like Daniel Kahneman said, 75,000, that's a minimum. 75 to kind of 120, that's a great, place if you're already there. But the main thing is keep moving up. I call that ratcheting. You're going to learn about that in the 67 steps. So what is important is the amount you want to make, right? My aspirations might not be your aspirations. Everyone makes that choice and that decision for themselves. You might be totally happy with less, but all I know is that if you are not using this plan, your bank account balance is lower than it should be. Your health will be lower than it could be. Your love and social life will be lower and your happiness will be lower. So this is the time, change, get rid of limitations. Now, uh, let me just say, who shouldn't join this club? Now, one of my mentors told me something a long time ago. I mentioned it earlier in the video. He said there are two types of people in the world. The first have big dreams, the second choice, a limited life. Uh, the second choose a limited life. Richard Dawkins, he wrote The Selfish Gene. He divided people into uh, cheaters, uh, grudgers, and suckers. So this grudger category sometimes can be the worst because it's just people who are like naysayers, who are always pessimistic. Look, being help healthily uh, pessimistic is okay. Being someone who's you know not a sucker is fine, but th it does cross over the line. There are people in the second group the rotten apples who spoil the whole barrel, they rub off on you. So I don't really like to work with people who are just 100% pessimists. You need some healthy optimism and pessimism and a balance, but that pure pessimism thing, I'm like, I already know that life is hard. You don't have to always remind me, right? Like Conrad Hilton says, you gotta be optimistic. That's what Helen Keller taught. So I don't believe the answer is putting your head in the sand or something like that and ignoring reality. But at the same time, every person who has done big things started out with a dream. It's a great book by Jerry Weintraub, you know? Everybody said he wouldn't be able to do it, but he did. He got every childhood dream he wanted. So you need something to focus on despite the harsh realities of life. So I really don't want people joining who are 100% negative. These type of people cannot really be helped by anything or anyone. They just have to wait for life to teach them that it's okay to dream. Remember, nature is the teacher of last resort, but nature laughs last. So if you're one of those people and you have to learn the hard way, that's fine. I wanna protect the current people in the program uh, from too much of a limited mindset. So this system is for you if you have big goals. If you've been watching for this long, I'm gonna guess you're somewhat uh, in that category. You know, your hopes and dreams are still alive and well. Uh, other questions, can I trust the guarantee? Look. This program, not my main source income. It's not the main way uh, that I make money. I didn't create this to get rich off you. This is not This is kind of a completely ancillary thing that just sprung up. Uh, I've been financially independent for many years. So this, like I said, is a pro part of a promise that I made uh, that once that I had some success, I would pass it on. You know, it's like that movie, uh, Kevin Spacey, Pay It Forward or whatever. So, you know, I realize I've been fortunate mentors, that was a great thing of fate and luck for me. Um, I didn't have anything to offer those mentors. They were already set. They just did it out of, out of I'm not sure, maybe they felt obligated because someone had passed it on to them. But they were kind and selfless enough to reach out a hand and help me when I needed it most. So I don't forget that. I'm eternally grateful to them. Alan Nation, Joel Salatin, Dr. Gordon Hazard, all these people. So yes, you can trust my guarantee because I'm not trying to make a quick buck off you. I'm doing this as a spirit of gratitude and remembrance to those who helped me. Uh, so you know, if you join it and after you go through it, go through it. If at the end you don't think it's helpful, just email my staff. Basically, I don't even know if we even get ref. I we don't get many refunds. I never hear about them. So there's statistically we get 
you know, insignificant amount of them. So uh, I, know, I know that this opens up, this guarantee opens us for people taking advantage of our generous offer, you know, by just asking for the, getting the program then asking for a refund, but no one really does that. And you know what, even if someone did, I have this guarantee so you can feel comfortable. If that means that theoretically uh, I could end up losing money from some dishonest people, I don't care, really. Helping good people is worth that kind of risk. Uh, and by the way, you pay, you know, well, it's the next thing. How do I know my credit card is safe with you and what will appear on my bill? So because I own other technology companies, we built this technology and this website from day one on one of the most secure platforms in the world. I've literally spent millions of dollars uh, and have brilliant programmers working for me. So everything's safe and secure, like I said, SSL encrypted. Uh, we use what is considered the highest level of online credit card uh, security. That's 256 bit secure encryption. So in layman terms, this means it's basically impossible for a hacker or a third party to get your info. Now, you know, people don't realize when you go to a restaurant, you hand a waiter your credit card, there's always the small chance they could just copy your number down by hand and fraudulently charge your card later. But there is no person who's going to see your card, just you. You enter it. It's passed directly from you to the credit card processing company, okay? So our online form cuts out the chance of any fraud. So it's actually way safer than using your credit card to buy something at a cafe or a coffee shop. So you just simply enter your information and your credit card is billed discreetly uh, by our publishing company, okay? Okay, the next people say, if your goal is to help people, why do you charge to be a member? So, you know, I struggled with this at first. Like I said before, you know, this isn't the main uh, way that I make my money, but Joel Salatin used to tell me, look, Ty, people do not value what they get for free. It's what's called a Pareto inefficiency, meaning a lose-lose situation. Um, there's a good book by a scientist, Dr. Martina Adshade, and she says that free dating sites like uh, OkCupid or Plenty of Fish, uh, more people flake on the date because they didn't have any investment into it uh, compared to like paid dating sites like Match.com or eHarmony. So it's again, it's a lose-lose situation. People don't get what they want. They want them to find you know, love or a date or something. They don't show up because they don't have the investment and the company doesn't get paid a fair price for what they did. So, um, you know, that's part of it. I believe that there, you should never apologize for charging money. It's fair, right? That's how the world works now. We exchange these freedom units. I don't build my own house. I don't uh, grow my own food. I don't build, uh, you know, sew my own clothing. It's all a system of exchange. So you never have to apologize for exchanging. You just have to give a lot more value than you charge. So, like I ask people, if, what are you spending money on uh, if you have something better to spend then you shouldn't be in this program? It's opportunity cost, right? But most people are going to spend money on RRD things. And this program is priced so inexpensively um, that uh, I, can, I think it's that happy balance between being a fair price, something people will you know, you'll have enough into it that you'll remember to do it and uh, not being too expensive that it, that, you know, it becomes a burden. So um, that's, that's where we are and I think it's, it's as fair as is possible, you know. We focus on the things we pay for, we take for granted the things we're given free. So, you know, I think it's a fair compromise. It's a small membership fee, uh, way lower than it should be and uh, yeah, I think that's, that's as fair as it gets. And look, I know money might be tight for you, uh, but remember the wor words of Warren Buffett, the world's best investor. The best investment you ever make is in yourself. Double down on yourself. I've learned there's two ways you'll never go poor, two types of spending. Give to charity. No one's ever gone poor by giving too much uh, freely and uh, altruistically and charitably. I've never seen that happen. And I've never seen people go broke who spend money on themselves. It just, I, I don't think it happens. I can tell you what people go broke on, RRD things, restaurant depreciate. They spend money on things they don't need, on things that drop in value. You can have some things that drop in value, but you can't have most of your net worth tied up in those things. You know, one pair of designer jeans, one dinner at a restaurant costs more than this program. You know, and once you have those, 
wear those jeans for a few times or eat that meal, that money's gone forever. This is a small but important investment in yourself. An investment that will pay off 10, 20, 100, even 10,000 fold. An investment that no one can take away from you. Next, I get you know asked, um, how is this different than the books or seminars that are already out there? And you know, that's a good question. Uh, before we built out this program and got it up on this private website, we did a lot of research on what already existed. And it didn't take long to realize there was a huge void in the market. The kind of information uh, that we had to offer simply, it didn't exist anywhere else. There's plenty of self-help books, seminars, but most of them use a technique that we believe is totally ineffective. You see, even though I love books, and you'll see books play a huge role in, in um, what you're about to learn, but books alone are just head knowledge. Creating a seminar that's emotional and you get all hyped up, they rarely make the long-term improvement. Remember, this is built on University College London, the, the most cutting edge science. You need enough time. See, you don't stick with a book usually for 66, 67 days. You don't stick with a seminar for 67 days. So it doesn't get ingrained, it takes more time. But it doesn't take, you know, a thousand days to begin to see the change. That's why um, this is unique, you know. This is something that gets deep into your subconscious and can improve you even while you're not focusing on it. You know, this is more than a book or a seminar. It's an integrated program using all this cutting edge science, things that are proven statistically, empirically to work no matter who used them. Is the difference between someone telling you how to build a house or someone working alongside you, helping you build it step by step. This system works for poor people, average people, old people, young people, every race, males, females, it works for super smart geniuses and just for normal people too. Books and seminars are absolutely vital to supplement what you're about to get. But this is on another level, okay? So yeah. Click right below that button. If you don't see the button, you can refresh the page. It'll usually pop up. Uh, someone said, what if I don't wanna be a super rich millionaire? I just wanna have enough. Look, agreed. Everybody has a different destiny. Not everyone needs to be a millionaire or a billionaire. But let me put it to you this way. Uh, if I wanted to get good at basketball, wouldn't it be a good idea, like I said, to learn from Michael Jordan? Even if you just wanna play for fun, it takes just as much time to learn from Michael Jordan as it does a regular person. So you could learn from just somebody who makes 100 grand, but why? Why not learn from Sam Walton? Why not learn from Bill Gates? Because I call it the 10% rule. You usually only do about 10% as well as whoever you copy. You copy Michael Jordan's basketball skills, Pele's soccer skills, you know, great baseball player, whatever sport you love, you, you copy them. You're probably not gonna be as good as them, but if you can be just 10% as successful as Oprah, as Mahatma Gandhi, as Mother Teresa, as you know, uh, uh, Mark Zuckerberg, imagine where you'll be. So again, this, the things we're gonna uh, share with you, the things I'm gonna share with you in just a few minutes when you get access are not just um, for people trying to make a billion dollars. Maybe you just need to make an extra 500 a month. Or maybe you're on the other end of the spectrum. You're already pretty wealthy. But remember, you wanna round out health love, happiness, okay? Uh, another common question, isn't getting rich all just luck anyway? I get this a last a lot, you know, I just spoke at USC and London Business School and all these big schools and, you know, it seems this is a widespread belief. Let me answer by saying yes and no. You know, Warren Buffett says that just being born healthy is like winning the ovarian lottery. So obviously if you're watching this, if you're born healthy enough, you know, you can see this, you can hear this, uh, you already have been lucky. But do I think that luck has much to do with this next step? Um, in the book, Built to Last, the famous researcher Jim Collins says that when he studied high-level people, he found that the only consistent luck they had in common was who they bumped into. That's the mentors, the coaches, the role models they met when they were getting started out. He did not find any other luck events. So. That's for sure been true in my life. The luckiest thing about my life, besides being born with no serious health problems, was meeting those mentors and continuing to meet them. So today, that's what I'm offering you. I wanna let you in on the luck. Look, just finding this video presentation to me is a big good luck for people. I don't mean that in a cocky way, I'm just saying. You'll see, try this as an experiment. What separates average people 
from Amazing Ones is what they do once the luck is handed to them. The real question is, will you take advantage of your luck today? I promise this. After you become part, you will never look back with ounce of regret and you're going to completely understand how to make luck something that you harness, not something that you wait for. Um, another thing, what if you don't have a lot of time? That's a question. So this is fine. We live in a busy world. The good news is that you actually do not need to spend a whole bunch of time in this. The way this program was built, it used an advanced kind of shortcut system. You know, we talked about the 67 steps, build on the neurobiology uh, of your brain. The old methods rarely work because they're too demanding, right? If I told you to go to the gym, Arnold Schwarzenegger used to work out six hours a day, but he had to build up to that. If you go in there and try to copy him, uh, sure, it'd be a great way to get in shape if you could pull off six hours a day, but we know what actually happens. No one, you wouldn't stick with it, you know, I wouldn't stick with it, or you'd pull a muscle or something. So I don't expect you to spend hours every day on the website. Um, you know, start out with five minutes, 15 minutes. Most of the stuff, uh, depending on what step it is, um, is anywhere from 15 minutes, uh, and some of them are a little bit longer. It just depends. But you can break them up. You know, I don't want you to feel this is, you'll see, it's going to recharge you. It's not, you're not going to be, feel like, oh my gosh. And you can do it on your phone. You can download the audios, listen to them, like go walk, taking care of kids, pick up somebody at school. Uh, so don't worry about not having time. This was built with a busy schedule in mind. Uh, another question, what about the bad economy? Isn't the American dream dead? So listen, the American dream is to go from nothing to something, okay? And it's not just for America, it's a global dream. But recently, some people in the media have started to write that this dream is dead. They say sexism, racism, bad government, bad economies killed the dream. Look, in some way, they are right. All of those things do exist, discrimination, things not being fair and just. But let me ask you this, new way to reframe this. Uh, when in the last 500 years would you rather have lived? What about in the last 100 years? Back then there weren't antibiotics. You would die if you got the flu. Look at the Spanish influenza in the early, you know, in the 1920s. Women couldn't vote. People were still slaves. No, the past wasn't better. Now. Now, right now, this is the best time to be alive. Even with all the nasty stuff humans still do to each other. Wherever humans are, there will be a lot of BS. But look, none of us are getting any younger, and we have to make do with what we have now. Today's the youngest you will ever be. 90% of the problems in my life are my own making. They are not because of other people. It's just me simply not taking advantage of all that I could. When I was broke, it wasn't the economy, it was me. Right now you have a choice. You can focus on the things that are hard to change, like politics, recessions, prejudice, or the global economy. Or you can simply say, let me see how far I can get by doing what I can today. Grab hold of all the tools that life has to offer you. I promise you, once you do this, all the other stuff won't be such a big deal anymore. This program is the most powerful tool I've seen to create massive momentum. Uh, Another question, what if I'm too young or too old or I don't live in a big city or I'm not in the US? You know, life is funny because when I was younger, I thought I was too young to do big things. And then when I got older, I started to feel like things had passed me by. Joel Salatin told me, better late than never. Stephen Hawking talks about this. You know, he says when he was young, he used to think at some point the universe would begin to contract and time would reverse like Benjamin Button and we would get younger. Uh, every day, but that's not the case. This is not the case. Wherever you are, you cannot, uh, the great philosopher Seneca says in his book, in our fears we act as if we're mortal and our desires we act as if we're immortal. What he's saying is we're afraid of the wrong things. When we're young, we're afraid, oh, I'm too young. But he's saying in your desires, well, what do you desire out of life? You desire the good life. We want the good life. You can't act as if you're immortal. If you're young, you don't know if you'll live 30 more years. And if, if you're old, you don't know if you'll live another 30 years. You have today, that's why I say, make haste slowly, but make sure you make haste. Get in there, make the decision quickly, and once you're in, then stick with it, step by step. 
Look, there are some advantages to starting out at you know seven years old like Warren Buffett did. And there are some advantages to starting out at age 65 like Colonel Sanders did. But start now, okay? Now, in terms of where you live, obviously big cities are full of people who got rich, but over half of the people in this program live in little towns in countries all around the world. It's, it's not a, this is like pretty 50-50 uh, split. So, you know, there's people not just in London, not just in New York, not just in LA, not just in the big cities. We have people, little towns of Pakistan and Brazil and, you know, Australia, New Zealand. It's amazing to look at the list. When I look at the Google Analytics where people are coming from, it's, uh, it's amazing. I had a guy the other day say, Ty, I'm in Somalia and our world is, you know, it's genocide and all this and I want to thank you. This program is helping me even there. So here's what I could tell you for sure. Do not wait. Colin Powell, there's a good book by John Maxwell called The uh, 21 Irrefutable Laws of Leadership. And he talks about Colin Powell, the general, and how Colin Powell said, practice the 40-70 rule. Once you have 40% enough information, once you have a hunch that it's the right thing, act. Do not wait. Don't wait till you have more than 70%. Then you have waited too long. A good scientist, uh, his name is Ferguson in the 1960s, said one divided by E, that's the scientifically uh, optimal stopping rate. And that comes out to about 37%. So once you have a 37% hunch, you should do something. Then try it, experiment. Like I said, experiment with this. I feel, if you're still watching here, you have at least a 37% uh, hunch that this could have a big impact on your life. All right, so act on the hunch. Remember, don't program the brain to be a procrastinator. Warren Buffett says, don't suck your thumb. A lot of people suck their thumb. They, when they're faced with a decision, they go back to this baby mode as if some, nobody's gonna help you but you. People will be your allies. This program, I hope to be an ally, but ultimately, like the existentialists say, we're born alone, we die alone. You must take responsibility for yourself. You know, I read a book on habits and it's scary. It said that every little thing you procrastinate on literally forms a type of like a groove in your brain. Bad habits literally get etched deep into your mind. And if you build these bad habits for too long, they become almost impossible to get rid of. There's a famous saying, it says, the uh, chains of habit are too weak to be felt until they're too strong to be broken. So I want you to break out from your old routine. Don't worry about your age or where you live or what you look like. Today is your day. Click this button, make today your day. Now, what about if I'm in college? Uh, people ask me that. If you are in college, do this alongside the program. I mean, do your degree alongside this program. It will accelerate college. I have mixed feelings on college. I'm not anti-college, I'm not pro-college. College is a tool. You know, it's like a hammer. Hammer's great if you have a nail. For certain problems, college is the best thing. For other things, it's like hitting a, a screw with a hammer. It's insufficient. So don't think that way. Uh, think, are you doing the maximum? Like uh, Charlie Munger says, to get what you want, you have to deserve what you want. The world's not yet a crazy enough place to reward a whole bunch of undeserving people. And he said, go to bed a little wiser each day. Step by step you get ahead, but not necessarily in fast spurts, but you prepare for those fast spurts by the disciplined approach, okay? So that's about all the time I have questions for. If you're still listening, there's really nothing left to do. Take a deep breath, don't be afraid. Remember what Alexander the Great said, there's only two types of people in the world. The first type of person conquers their fear and the second type of person doesn't and suffers and dies for it. Don't act from fear. Act from that hunch, that intuition that you have. You have my word that this is really worth it. You will not be disappointed. So click the button below to get started. I'll see you on the inside. Oh, last thing, I promise you that free gift. So as promised, I'm gonna give you this gift. So I do this uh, uh, live events around the world. I'm doing a world tour coming up here. Uh, you can see the, the schedule on my website later. And I normally charge between $97 and $197 per seat. But for listening uh, and a token of my appreciation, I'm gonna give you that absolutely free. So all you have to do is send an email, okay, to tickets 
at tylopez.com with this secret code in the subject line. Six, the number six, the number seven, talk. 67 talk. Just put that in the subject line, email it to tickets at tylopez.com. In the subject line, you don't have to put anything in, it'll automatically log and reserve that ticket for you for one year. You can see me face to face, myself, talk, team, meet other like-minded people. Six, seven, talk, okay? This ticket is, like I said, it's good for a year, one per person. You can't listen to this 10 times and get 10. Uh, you can come, you know, meet network of amazing people, investors, celebrities, millionaires. It all depends where I am, but uh, I hope to see you. Come meet, form, uh, come meet and form new partnerships and friendships. Rub shoulders with people uh, that are on the same path as you, okay? So thank you so much. Uh, and I'm excited to hear your story uh, in, just a, in just a few days, minutes, hours, weeks, I don't know, but uh, within the next 67 days at least. All right, thanks so much. Talk to you soon.